Now, let's see. I think I'm getting it together. Oh my goodness. I just might have it in order. Is that connecting? Good morning, everyone. It is Talita here at 360 Cafe. And this morning, I am on a mission trying to see if Ross truly is having the 49 cent sale and this clearance deal going on. Oh, that would have been ugly. Ice. I'd have been like, I'm suing. I'm suing. No God, that's why. So I'm here at Ross. About to go in. I'm on a mission. Everything that says clearance. Oh, they're working on this Ross in particular from what I see when I was here last month. The layout was extremely different. So they have changed. I apologize. They're doing some work in here from the sounds of it. And um, like I was saying, they changed where the shoes were. And from what I can tell right now, their shoes have not been marked down for clearance. But don't worry, I'm gonna, I'm on the hunt. Oh, that's awful. Oh my God. And see, and it's funny because other people's videos, all their Rosses be like, filled and packed with tons of people but here they sleep on Ross tremendously the children's shoes from what I can see for right now and I'm gonna ask where's their markdown items you know first I like to look through myself to see what I can find oh look this is Clarence baby stuff I have a friend that's having her first baby it see the only thing they don't know the sex of the baby and so that's what's making it a little tough right now. Oh, look at this, it's so cute. So this is some of the clearance items that I have found so far. That's marked down on the end cap. So I'm gonna see if I can find another end cap that may have some things to offer. Uh, this would be so cute if it was like, um, neutral colors if I could find neutral colors it would be great newborn infant booties I think I'm going to pick up this pair because it looks like unisex so you know can't go wrong with that and those are $3.99 so clearance items a kid whose size clothing is not over here in the clearance section. Uh, $2.99 for this right here. So they've started marking down clothing items. Some of these aren't to me, you know, like clearance to me. 
like clearance to me. Like when I go in Kohl's, I find stuff for a dollar, 80 cent, all kind of stuff. And people here in Pittsburgh, they sleep on Kohl's. Oh my goodness. And Kohl's is just one of them sores. See, this is hard because I don't know the sex of the baby. But they have some things for five forty nine. Uh, look, now this is what I'm talking about. See, a dollar forty nine. Oh, this is cute. Five forty nine. Three forty nine. So, a few things are marked down. Okay, was interrupted with a phone call. However, I will call her back. So this is women's intimate clearance. Uh, not too much. I'm like a day or two late, so there may have been more. However, of course, I missed it. You know? There's another one that I can drive to, and I think I'm going to drive to it. Just, uh, yeah. I'm going to drive to that one. Because I'm not seeing too much here in this one. And so, I'm going to go take a look at the other one. Look at this meditation lady. Love it. That's something I would put in my shop. Hi, excuse me. Do you all just have different um, end caps and different sections that have clearance on them or do you have a section? No, there's no section. Everything is mixed in. Mixed okay, in. thank you. So, nah, I won't waste too much time in here because that's exactly what it'd be. A waste of time. Getting closer to the noise. Uh uh. You got them? I think I'm gonna get what I got in my little car here and head on out. I'm going to the Ross out in the mills and see what they got on clearance for 49 cents. Uh, wait, I made it to the men's section. I got growing teenage boys. Let's see what they have here. Oh, uh, uh, I'm gone. I'm gone. Uh -oh. I got to go. Oh my God, I'm out of here. I can't even think straight. Like this for Tabreek. This is reduced $14.99. I need it to be like five bucks. So they've began marking their things down in this for us. However, it's uh, some of the things are at a okay price. Other things I can wait a little longer. 
because Abby wanting deals, deals. Okay, you all, I want deals, deals. Call me queen of the cheap. quickly trying to get out of here but let me check out the women's dresses that are here in Clarence not much left uh, see this is something that I would wear to a family function because it's granny like and real boring so right now it's only $14.99 oh look at this skirt or is it a dress as pants interesting for three forty nine. What size are they? I'm not an extra large, but it says it was made in the China, so I I wear a large. I may be able to fit these. Interesting. Cute. Three dollars and forty nine cent, guys. Three forty nine. I found something. <laughs> What's this, a dress? I'm too way too tall. Like, this would be... <laughs> uh, no. They should have had a sound on the door. Caution. Extremely noisy. Inside. Oh my goodness. Eleven ninety nine. It's a dress. It's really plain. <gasps> what this is ninety nine cent, you guys. Uh, but it's messed up here, and um, never mind. This one right here is a dollar forty nine cent. And hi, Store Duster. I'm sorry. I just been talking up a storm. Hi, Brenda Land. I just been talking up a storm. I apologize. I apologize. But a um, dollar forty nine, and my sister is thin enough to fit this because she is petite so i'm gonna get this for her and guess what her birthday's tomorrow i'm gonna include this in what i already got her so like i said i'll be heading out of this ross rose 4.99 oh my goodness i got nieces and nephews in africa too that like that i'll be shipping things over to before i get there size three i know for one fact that the one niece can fit this Oh, look, the red one is three bucks more. So guess what? It can stay there. <laughs> it can stay there. This Calvin Klein dress is really, really cute, but I'm not paying 30 bucks for it. I'm looking for the stuff that's like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. Call me queen of the cheap. I'm buffering. Oh, thank you, Store Duster. Sorry. I don't know why I'm buffering. Uh I think I'm doing this right. I'm trying to send this uh, chat out. Oh, okay. Did it again? Please bear with me. I don't know. Maybe I'm in a bad part of the store. Um, oh. Well, I'm too tall to. Oh, yeah. I got to get my grandmother some pants. This works. This is great. Do it for grandma. All the pants, see, like, or is this tops? Okay, these were tops, and this was clearance, and it's no longer here. So, <laughs> all the clearance 
stuff is going from this section. Yeah, for the most part. So, uh, look, I seen Petite. Like, that's the Petite set. They play too much. Ain't nothing Petite about me. I'm the Amazon. <laughs> Thank you for hanging in there with me, you all. I apologize. I'm sorry I didn't know the video was buffering. But, um, still just looking through here. Uh, look, I was about to say, they might as well take this off the shelf, but it's made like this. Very interesting. Interestingly ugly. Like, on a squash roof. It's ugly. How much is this thing? 11 bucks? No, they need to make it just dollar even if just that oh my god i'm trying i don't want to rush out of here i may miss something but i just can't deal with all the noise you all you know yeah i got four kids and i'm saying i can't deal with all the noise that's because my kids know that i don't play all that like quiet down pipe down now this is a cute little top for 349 what size is it for you It's extra large. Oh, I got a sister whose birthday's coming up next month. Okay. Let's get everybody in order. Three forty nine. Do I know somebody? What is this? A large. I wear a large right now, you all. But do I like it? No, it got some little um lint balls on it, so it can stay. <laughs> Oh, look at this. This is a really cute jacket. Of course, you can't find the Ross tag, but, you know. I want to know if it's on clearance. And if so, how much is it on clearance for? Well, um, I'm not into animal printing things. That's a little hideous there. Six bucks. I hope everybody's good. Thank you. She is Aquarian. I got two Aquarian sisters. Yup. One's birthday's tomorrow, then one her birthday's February the eighteenth. So it's funny, like my papa was a rolling stone. Like seriously, and I don't think he never laid his hat down to make a home. <laughs> But may he rest in peace. I love my dad. And I miss him on the daily. Wish he was still here. You know. So I could hear him say. He you knows. See. This ain't clearance for me yet. <laughs> Almost. Oh wait. I'm in smalls. The only person I know that works small. Like I said. Is my one sister. She is very petite. So I guess, all right, they started their markdowns in here, but it's just, it's not that significant yet, you know, where it, it to go all out and things like that. I think, like I said, I'm going to travel up the road about a good four miles and go to the other one. So this was outerwear. Oh, I, I missed a lot. It, obviously, I missed a lot. I need to get my grandmother some jeans because we are taking family pictures, you all. My grandmother's reaching a milestone birthday, even though she's still, I consider her young because she's only turning 75, you know, but just the fact, the state that her health is in, you know, well, her health is pretty good. I should say mental health as far as, you know, like she's forgetful. Um, the dementia just like it didn't slow her up quite a bit and so I'm guessing grandma size right now and I'm guessing about a 22 I'm guessing was these a stretch man and then I feel bad for grandma because she used to yes sword duster when's your birthday When's your birthday, sis? Oh, and I got to go back to your lemongrass video because I got my lemongrass to sprout in a glass. Now I got to um, get it in some soil. I just need to figure out a good um, pot and soil 
next and then I get to go ahead on. You know, I get to go ahead on. So I'm excited and then I do um have some like seeds and things that I could start, but I just have to be brave and start them. You know, I have to be disciplined and nurture them. <laughs> so okay. Oh, yours passed already. Happy belated star duster. Okay, you was at the beginning of Aquarius season. Yeah, I couldn't wait for Capricorn season to be over. They get on my nerves. I promise you they do. I love them, but they get on my nerves. I'm headed to the checkout so I could go to the next rise. Up the road in Pittsburgh Mills. Yeah, because I seen, um, what's her name? Orlando Coupon Queen. I don't have no access to chicken. No, nope. I'm I'm looking. You know, I'm trying to network because I know that your network is your net worth. So I'm trying to get my networking up so that I can know where to get all the good. Uh, you got capping. You, what? You every mirror you pass, star duster. You gotta look in the mirror. You gotta look in the mirror. Yeah, so I had to see if what the coupon, um, Orlando coupon queen was saying was actual fact. And yes, I can honestly say that the coupon, the Orlando coupon queen is a certain reliable source. She posted her video to show proof from Orlando yesterday, and I am here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And yes. Or Ross is doing the same thing. Extreme markdowns. A lot of things are forty nine cent and um, three forty nine and things like that. So they started marking their clothes and stuff down. I'll come back to see if when they start marking their shoes down. But I'm going up the road. Hi. <laughs> I know the people in the store think I'm talking to myself. <laughs> like I'm crazy. <laughs> They don't here in Pittsburgh. Like, basically, the only time the kids get to go to a farm, which is like Triple B and Africa Packs or some tracks, is when it's time for um, Halloween and they take them to the pumpkin patch. Like, none of the schools are teaching the kids self sustainability and things like that. Like, so a lot of the curriculum is for real just I mean how is it applicable in our everyday life I don't use y equal mx plus b square I don't use that every day so you know like to teach people how to be self-sustainable how to grow food because the government they are making us sick you know putting everything in our food you're going to Jacksonville to shop Yes. Don't I'm coming down the road, Star Duster. And I want I'm gonna try to drive so we could meet up with you because we are going on our girls trip twenty twenty. Our edition. Okay. And our edition, I don't know. It's gonna be something quite awesome. So I like what they're doing with Ross. They're switching it around. It's nice. Um but like I said, I'm making it up there to the mills to go to that um, Ross because I think I could find more stuff. So I didn't do too bad. I got a little bit of stuff. You know, I got on my running clothes. Oh, you're going on a cruise in August. Okay, we're coming down that way in April. So we're stopping in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Florida because I'm trying to move from the Pittsburgh area. I need to be somewhere where I can grow my food all year round. You know, up here, it's most definitely a food desert. And then, like, all this GMO foods, like, it's just ridiculous. I'm over it. And my daughter said the other day, it was so cute. She said, Mom, I'm not, uh, no, what did she say? Okay, Mom, 
after today, I'm going to become a vegetarian. And I said, well, why, Peyton? She said, because I don't want to eat junk food anymore. I just laughed. <laughs> I just had to give her that one for a minute and said, oh, girl, you know, being a vegetarian means that you don't eat meat. But, you know, <laughs> I was like, it comes basically to that when you're into veganism, you know, depending on what they put in the food. So, you know, it was cute to see that she was interested and honest and ready and eager new are you you're looking for a new property oh my goodness and since you posted that um video hi backyard gardener good morning hope you're good hope you're good you're in tallahassee okay i'm gonna have to come through there and the more and more i keep researching my ancestry like i just see my grandfather's people was all over in the u.s so, um, I'll be making it to a few states. You know, I got to meet some of the cousins down south. They got to take me fishing and crabbing. <laughs> take me fishing and crabbing. Yeah. So, um, I think that so far, you know, it's reliable. I just caught majority of, like, the end, the pick throughs. But that's cool. I found a few things. I found a few things. See, now this is when my people that live in Africa need to come through. I tell them about the clearance sales and stuff. Hi, good morning. Please hold on, everybody. I'm about to be waited on. going to my petite sister here and she liked to wear stuff this little bit you know because she young so hey let her do her thing and then this for three something i'm gonna try to figure out what i could do with it i don't know i'm gonna work it out there I'll work it out. oh and then this little baby onesie for a dollar 49 oh yes and then these jordan booties for three forty, no, three ninety nine. Yes. So you know, um, a few of your customers put you all on best that you all have um, this sale going on. <laughs> well, the clearance, the clearance, you know, the yearly clearance. Like, oh, it's a mark down, it's a mark. Down. Yes, yep, look, so I'm here, I'm here, look, I'm here a couple days late, but I didn't make it. I wasn't making it. I told my client uh, I would go into Walmart for her. Why'd I do that? I just want to go to the next Ross up the block. Yeah, you going to be here with this noise all day. You able to deal with it? Bless your heart. <laughs> I've only been here, let's see, half an hour and I'm going nuts already. Wear them pants on my girl's trip. Yes, I can't wait, Store Duster. I'm getting cute, cute. Thank you. Yes, that's fine. that's fine. Look, I don't even know what I had to think about. Like, <laughs> have a good day. Thank you. So, mission one. Mission one. Now, you all, I just started a new regimen on my face because I got to get this hyperpigmentation away. Like, my skin was very temperamental this fall and this winter. And so I am in the midst of getting it back on track. And so far, so good. So far, so good. It was worse than this, but you know, 
slow and steady progress. As long as there is progress, I don't mind. But yes, I can't wait. Uh huh. Them is going to be my mommy shag me pants. Oh my goodness, everybody. I let my son take the car for the first time by himself last night. And the boy forgot how to turn on the, um, the lights. And what else he say? He didn't know how to, like, for real, get the temperature right to make the car unfoggy. Like, poor kid. And so, um, I'll be scheduling him a couple more driving lessons because he does have his license. However, he's not really an experienced driver. Pinterest for natural methods? Okay. Because I've used lemon, like, I've, oh my goodness, I've tried and I've tried so many different things. I've used the Aztec clay mask um I've used like what else the Aztec clay mask um apple cider vinegar lemon all that kind of stuff I've used aloe vera however the thing that I've found to work the most for me I got it from Amazon I've used um Kojic soap I want to say that's what's the name of it like and so I feel as though in the past few months that a lot of it has made my face worse and so you know I, it's clearing up but it's been it was a struggle and highly upsetting I'm like this is ridiculous and so especially being a herbalist and things like that and where I can help others with different ailments and things of that sort I'm like, why can't I help myself to clear my skin? I've made honey turmeric scrubs and stuff like that. Now, the, it left my face glowing and looking really good. But as far as the glow goes, but, you know, as far as fading the hyperpigmentation, it didn't help. Oh, rosehip oil. Okay, I got some of that at home. And see, and I'm afraid to use oil on my skin because my, fa my skin is naturally oily. It's just weird. My skin's very temperamental. I'm loving it. I could be at work and shopping at the same time. I love it. Oops. I knew I was going to forget to call somebody. I forget. I'm going to do better. I have to come back down to this area to do a pickup for my client um, from the Bed Bath & Beyond. However, I'm going to the next Ross first because... The sales at Ross is really what's, you know, what's important right now. <laughs> it's what's important. How long did I use the turmeric? Um, I tried it for three weeks. And so I normally try to do things in the increments of three. And so being as though it just, like, after the three weeks, it wouldn't help or whatever. So I just had to go head on. And so... I might um, upload a video of my face skincare routine because, um, like, I be needing some help. You know, I don't know everything. I know I don't know everything. Just like I can't wait to see that um, video that Miss Cheryl just posted. I put it in my, you know, cute videos because I'm running around. Um, but I'm going to watch that because... Um, I want to store some seedlings, but I don't know if I got to have them in a warm temperature room or whatever, because the only room in my house that could accommodate um, some starts is no vacation for you. Wow, backyard gardener. And I'm coming through Michigan too. I'm coming through. I'm, I'm traveling. Soon as grandma leaves, because she's been with me two months, and she'll be there the whole month of February, and she'll go home the beginning of March, and I am telling you, I can't wait. I'm, I'm on the road. I can't say in the streets, because I'm not a person to be in the streets, but I'm on the road. Like, seriously, I'm on the road. I don't have a grow light, but I gotta get a grow light. Okay and sit it on a table all right well then so my excuse is over my excuses are over i gotta find like i said a good potting soil mix because that's basically why all of my 
um, plants in the containers decided to die on me because I didn't have the mixture together, you know. So if it was it was too sick and it just killed and brought it the roots. <laughs> killed and brought it the roots. So I'm trying to see where that one entrance to get on this turnpike. I mean the parkway is. I don't know. I used to work in this area for this man and he made something called the marionettes or something and oh my goodness he was such an alcoholic my job had to tell me don't you go to the store and get him no more alcohol you're not allowed to get him no more alcohol and I was just like okay because he would send me on an errand and I'd just go get him the liquor that he wanted as long as he was, wasn't was killing my vab as long as I didn't have to sit up under him and listen to all his you know drunk stuff all day I was good Okay, that is Riddick Park. See, my normal way that I go would get me to the next Ross in about 10 minutes. But this way, having to go through the traffic lights and things is taking me away. It's in a yellow bag. Okay, I'm going to look for it. I'm most definitely going to look for it. Yes, I am. Because I'm excited, you know, and um. And another thing that I decided to do was like hold off on doing my urban farm initiative here in Pittsburgh. It will still be, you know, like it's still an initiative. It's still a nonprofit. It's still a business. However, I'm trying to relocate from here. And so I can't continue to focus so much time and energy on so much here when I don't see myself here in the next five years. I want an RV. I want me a homestead. I want to retire by the time I'm 50. I don't want to talk about it because I ain't really too far from all that. But, you know, so I got some work to do. I got work to do. Lots of work. Yep, I seen that uh, Miss Cheryl had that video about boiling the water. And what was even the better idea was like make some pasta and then voila, double use water right there. <laughs> My goodness. Even though what she did, it was perfectly fine. It just reminded me of this episode that I seen on Extreme uh, Cheapskates where the girl, she was doing stuff like that. And oh my goodness, but she was so nasty to the point where, say, her family had spaghetti and salad and whatever. Say, if there was sauce left on the plate or salad dressing left on the plate, what was this woman doing? She was scooping it back into the jar and put. Oh my goodness, I was, uh, I was just like, mm -mm, you can't be taking my people out like that, hun. You know, like, and then she was fairly young, like me. And what oh, and then she, like what I did, like was uh, and I even started implementing it in my house. She made everybody take military showers, like, and it's funny because I was trying to tell my son before he left for the military, I was like, You're gonna be ready, trust and believe, you're gonna be ready. So, here, um, like, I'll be like, You got five minutes, or I'm going to the basement, I'm cutting the water off, but uh, she also only had one light bulb in the house so if you needed to go room to room in the house you either had to take this candlestick you know like anyway or you had to take the one light bulb that she allowed in the house and unscrew it from every room to room like she was something else you're all about the babies yes I am coming. I'm coming. There's land in Georgia. My maternal family um, is actually from Columbus, Georgia. And I know it was a big military town at once. And what I like about it was majority of the businesses was black owned. You know? And things like that. Like, I looked at property and stuff down there. And I was just like, yeah, how would I do it? Like, 
if it's real country, rural and boring, I don't know. I don't know how I do. As long as I could be close to finding some type of action, I don't have to live in the action as long as I could get to it. <laughs> you know. Oh, I see some good advice. Yo, that's what she was doing. Oh my God. She was cutting hair and stuffing it in the pillowcase. Oh man. No. That's awful. Store duster. That's awful. That's crazy. Very country and very boring. Uh, well, I, I just know it ain't my type of town. Then I'll go visit. I need to go to the courthouse. I need some documentation on some of my stuff. But other than that, no, I can't. I can't. Because I'll be running back to Pittsburgh, even though Pittsburgh is just really not where it's at. It's not a city for us. You know, look how they shot down Antoine Rose and look how a week ago. That police officer got on the school bus. Literally, it not too far from the same neighborhood. They shot Antoine Rose down in, you know, still the same school district. All that is, uh, they don't like us out there. But that officer got on the school bus when the situation had already de escalated and got on that school bus and pulled that girl hair and just like manhandled her. I was like, uh, couldn't have been me. Couldn't have been me. Because I was going to go up in there and see what was good with all, all of them cops. Trust and believe. It couldn't have been my kid. It couldn't have been. Because I'm going to go to war about that. And a lot of thick people don't know their rights. I don't have to bad, bad these man-made laws. They're not for me. So, you know. But that's, that's another video. We'll keep that for another video. <laughs> but, um... Okay, that's why you're looking near about those things. Okay. I'm going to have to look around. I'm telling you. I'm just... Florida's just too far for me to have to drive to get back home just in case there's an emergency. So that's why I was looking at, like, Raleigh and um, South Carolina. Oh, uh, you made me miss the light. I don't know. But um, anyway, um, my one friend, the reason why we're going to Florida is because she wants to go, she wants to live in Key West or something, you know, like she's been thinking Key West. And I was like, well, let's just go travel. I've seen enough states, but let's just, I don't know, go and get a feel for it. Because I know that once I'm where I'm supposed to be, that's where I'm going to be. You thought about there too? Yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't want to go as far as Florida. That's far. As much as I could do is like 10 hours, Georgia. Like, that, yeah. And I like Georgia. It's just, um, they got a lot of little manor crisis down there, if you know what I'm saying. They got manor crisis is going on down there. And I don't know. Even though my one sister, the petite one, she's moving down there. And she's like, come on, sis. I need somebody to be down here with me. And I was like, I don't know. But then again, I may consider it. Uh, I'm my mother's only child. And so all of my siblings are from my father. And I mean, I have a good relationship with majority of them. There's a few of them we haven't had the opportunity to meet because they're not from or area well they were born in the area but their mother raised them elsewhere and I don't know about that group of kids because they're just some strange ones <laughs> so if they watch this video hey y'all y'all a little strange up there <laughs> goodness. you know um, and it was odd too because my younger brother, he shares my birthday. I was just like, sheesh, I can't even have my own birthday. So, um, 
interesting. Yes, my papa was such a rolling stone. He had a total of eight kids, and I'm the second oldest. And so my brother just turned 37. I just turned 36 at the end of last year, and so I'll be 37 at the end of this year. And then I have a sister that's turning 36 next month. Look, my bro my dad was not playing. He was selling his royal oats. He was selling them. A total of seven siblings from my dad and I know four of them so there's three that we haven't met well I, I'll just put it like this um well because I'll never really bite my tongue they say that I'm the mean one so whatever I ain't trying to mean them period I got enough people in my life that's meant to be there. Because, I don't know, I tried being cordial and being there and stuff like that. And then I traveled to Philly, which is not too far from where they live. And so, I tried to meet up with them. You had to meet them and stuff like that. But it was just weird. And so, the brother that has the same birthday as me, he um, sent me a message the day after that I had got back to Pittsburgh. I was like, I don't got time for y'all corny people at all. No levels. And the one sister, I don't know, I know she like suffers with some little mental illness and stuff and I'm just like, well, keep that shit over there. Just says, keep that shit over there. Because <laughs> I'm crazy too. <laughs> and, uh, and then the other one, I don't know, the youngest of us all, she's a little, she's very questionable and I just hope that she gets it together. But hey, when you got everybody cleaning up your mistakes for you and you know raising your kids for you <laughs> i guess you just gonna keep being out there in the world being one of these worldly things out here so hope she get her together that's all i ain't talking stuff i'm just saying i hope you get it together babe because them is some kids that you laid out and made nobody else's responsibility to raise them that's it so I guess that's why my brother told me I'm the main one because I'm going to just keep it all the way 100. I'm going to just keep it live. And that's what I want people to do with me. Like if I'm doing something wrong, please call me out on it. That's what I want. And so you all, I tried to go live. Oh yes, my sisters. Oh my goodness. My other, t my other two sisters, they are ooh, they will tell you how they feel and they just will leave it at that. They're, they're not necessarily trying to hurt anybody's feelings, but they just, they are very raw. They are very. So it's quite interesting. And so you all, I'm moving out of my brick and mortar this weekend because the new cohort will be coming through and I am unveiling my newly updated website tomorrow because I got to get, you know, with the times. Most of the major um, retailers are moving to e-commerce because they're not getting enough sales in store. Come on. Oh my goodness. You're, oh, he hopped in front of me and I missed my light. Well, I'm just impatient. All I'm going is to Ross. <laughs> I'm almost there. So I could just chill out. Oh, and I'm near Sonics. Maybe I need a milkshake. Thank you, Star Duster. I'm really, really trying. Like, I'm trying hard. I'm thankful for a lot of the opportunities that, you know, was given to me. Like, I was only in business for nine, no. Yeah, for nine months. And then I had the opportunity um, given to me to go inside of a storefront through the co the business cohort that I was in and now I'm about to start a new cohort with Google it's called shop small business accelerator through Google and I just can't wait because I'm a sponge I'm ready to learn and if I could you know give it to somebody else and it may help their lives that's what I'm here to do because um, here in Pittsburgh, there's a lot of crab in the borough mentality. A lot of, oh, 
I don't want you to know where I got my stuff from, you know, or this and that. Like, it's just ridiculous. It's not, this is a city that is not really together unless some drama occurs and things like that. It's ridiculous. Your daughter got a lingerie website? Well, why don't you share it with us? Can you type it in my chat so I can look at it? Because I'm going to go to her website. I ain't got nobody to wear it for, but... You know, one of these days I just might. <laughs> if my husband act right, if he act right, I don't know. Cause I'm tired. I'm like, tired. Shoot. You know, if we could get it back together, if we could end up in the same household again, all that, then you know, yeah. But other than that, hey, just show me the exit. Oh. And look, I'm just walking and walking and talking. I'm at my second Ross's. I'm at my second Ross's out here at the mills. And I'm ready to see what they got out here. When my mark gets that done. When my mark gets that done. Oh, and what I'm going, hi, thank you. And what I decided to do is I'm going to, um, do DIY videos. I decided that trying to do a DIY live is just not for me because uh, I might forget some things and then I gotta get up. And it was, I don't know, yesterday was a little chaotic when I was trying to go live. Day crabs down there too? Uh uh. Well, I don't know about all that then because I am one to stay to myself for the most part. Oh, uh, well, this is the type of stuff I make, so, you know, I look at it, and if I could get an idea or anything like that from packaging, what I could do with my own stuff that I sell, you know, so I look, oh, uh, look, that's cute. That's a bar of soap in, like, a box. That's cute. So, you know, I had to come take a look. Oh, I think I, that's hair for Okay, so this one set up is just a tad bit different. Uh, I want to see these flat irons because I need to do something with my hair. <laughs> Even though I'm going to go get it done tomorrow because I don't like to have to do my own hair. 15 bucks. So do y'all think this is worth 15 bucks? A ceramic mini flat iron. Yes. I be trying star duster, you know, but I just can't do vab killers, you know. And then he's a narcissist. Like it's different when somebody can correct themselves and things like that. But you know, when you could always find fault in somebody else and then you act like you're holier than thou, my temperament can't deal with that. It just can't. What's this over here? A baby blanket. Uh uh. Let's see. I don't know what she's. Ha oh, this is. A, uh, it's for pets. I'm gonna back off. Okay. My pets got enough stuff. They're a little spoiled. Yeah. Stardust or I don't know. I'm like. I'm real open. I'm just real transparent. There's things that I keep to myself, but in this case, when it comes to my situation with my husband, like everybody in my fa my immediate family knows and stuff like that. Oh my God, y'all! I found this cute little dress for my daughter. I'm getting it for her. Three forty nine. <laughs> oh, and it's her size. Uh oh. Look, I done came in the door and found a couple things. Look at this little shirt. Be bright, be you. Oh, that's cute. Maybe use our cricket to make something like that. <laughs> Stay magical. $2.99. Uh, I mean, she'll, she'll have to wear this in about a couple years, but <laughs> I can't leave it there. <laughs> Uh, this 
I don't know, the sweater look a little dingy to me. <laughs> it might be the color of it, but it just looks a tad bit dingy. That's all. Don't stop believing. Believe and achieve. I don't see any clearance on the shoes yet. What's this? 20 bucks. And it's been reduced, but yeah. Oh, look at these case Swisses. Let me see which kid a mask of 50. Nobody. Peyton's not in this size yet, but these are cute. Let's see. I don't know if I, um, I think it would be stupid to leave these here. I think that's stupid. Because, um, 20 bucks for some tennis shoes. Can't beat that. You know, when you the queen of cheap. I don't like playing full price for nothing. At all. Found the baby some slippers. Is this his dad? I think he's in his dad's. Found the little kid that comes up. Oh no, these is babies. I thought I found my younger child some slippers. You like the top with the flowers? Do you? I was thinking about this store duster. I might pick it up for her because it said be bright. And hold on, because I'm forgetful. I gotta like for real look at it. <laughs> I don't want that. Well, gotta make sure, like, what kids? Uh, I don't have a kid to, where's that size? Okay. This is where I found this one store duster. Yeah. Be bright, be ye. And I told my daughter that all the time. Yeah, this is cute store duster. This is cute. Well, I might just have to get it and take it home so I can make one with the cricket. Have you been using your cricket? Do you like it? 